Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Friends are so important. Uh, I gotta tell you that meeting at your house every week and getting to spend time with you uh, is one of my favorite things. We were just talking about this the other day about how uh, if you don't get paid to do something, it's a hobby. <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> this is still a hobby for this us. This is a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, and, and when you said that, it, it, it reminated it's, with me. That's for Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank. Okay. Yeah. Well, the people that we surround ourselves with on a daily or weekly basis have a huge impact on our social and mental well-being. Therefore, it is important to know who brings out the best in you and who brings out the stress in you. And we're going to talk about it on this episode of Men Are So Smart. Hello friends, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. We're so glad you're here today. Uh, when we go through what we call life, we have to make sure that we choose the right people to connect with. It's also important to develop romantic relationships as much as we can. Ronnie, I love you. Thank you. You're welcome. You didn't say you love me. <laughs> Look, you hanging. That's not the first time. <laughs> Uh, staying positive through, <laughs> throughout life is healthy, and it's also the best way to live. Uh, let's see. Uh, did you forget you were doing the show? Yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, when you go through what we... Oh, no, no, the next one. You do not need to be constant. There we go. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I was listening. I'm like, I know. I'm intrigued. Wow, I thought, that wow, Luke guy, man, is, he yeah. leaves a story. <laughs> Uh, you do not need to be constantly surrounded by negativity. Mm -mm. No one should live and believe that everyone around them has to get them. Yeah, we, nobody gets us. No. <laughs> everyone makes mistakes in life and they should be forgiven when you are ready. It's a really noble way of living and you should strive to be like that. There will never be enough good things in the world, so you should always be the good you're looking for. Spread positivity wherever you go or with whom you end up with. Uh, of course, you do not want to be naive about life. You should not believe that every person you come into contact with will treat you well. Yeah. Uh, because we are all imperfect creatures who make mistakes from time to time. Yeah, and you know, I think about this a lot, Ronnie, that um, you just, you don't know what kind of a day that person is having. No. You don't know what they've been through. Now, there are some people that are upset and, and in a bad mood because the coffee grinds got in the coffee. Yeah. And then there are other people who may, in fact, be dealing with themselves or with someone they love with cancer or a heart attack or a stroke or taking care of an elderly parent. You just don't know. So you, you can't just treat everybody the same. However, if you act kindly to everyone, can go a long way you know what you see in people is the shell right and you see only what those people want you to see yeah kind of like social media it is a lot like that and so they are shielding and everybody has a million things in their life that they're dealing with mm -hmm. and for some people like probably mark cuban has a lot less you know, worries than the guy who's trying to make his house payment right. and things like that. Yeah, and just lost his job. Just lost his job. Christmas is coming up. Kid's not going to get presents. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a lot of stress. People on oh, people at Thanksgiving that you don't necessarily like that are family members. Uh, there's a lot that people are dealing with, and you're only seeing just a micro, micro uh, shred of it. So yeah, it really does. It, it pays to be nicer to people and treat people as if, hey, they're dealing with a lot because they probably are. Yeah, and, and, and treat them the way that you'd like to be treated. Yep. You, you set the standard when you do that. Uh, you know, and one of the things it says in here is you shouldn't, still shouldn't allow people to walk over you. Well, there are people like the people that do holiday shopping at Walmart. <laughs> They're going to trample you. You don't have to give a crap about them. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Uh, we do not always choose the right path or make the right decisions. That's part of being human. Other people 
have the same problems and do the same thing. Therefore, you can't be reckless and careless to the people around you. You don't want to open yourself up to the people who only want to hurt you. Yep. Uh, and to go along with people that uh, want to walk all over you, shouldn't let anyone take advantage of your kindness or hurt you. Uh, it's true that we think you should always open yourself up for good for the good in people. However, this does not mean that you should not take care of yourself in the meantime. And you know, I have uh, a family of friends that are they strive on they they thrive on drama it's it's like the freaking kardashians mm -hmm. and if everything is going right here they're not happy right they love those big peaks radar, and valleys big radar blips up and big radar blips down yeah it seems like That's, they take just as much joy in, in either they live in the high and low spots mm -hmm. and uh everything in between is too hum humdrum and you know, can sleep right through that. So, so do those people still need to take care of themselves, or are they overdoing it? Well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. And I got to tell you, me personally, I like everything to be right here. Mm -hmm. If there's a little blip up or a little blip down, I can deal with that. But I so am not into the drama. People will use you and hurt you if you let them. You will end up being used and broken if you continue the cycle. You have every right to protect yourself against the hurtful people in the world, uh, or in your past for that matter. Your well-being is just as important as anyone else's in the world. It's good to be selfish when it comes to protecting your feelings. That's what I was saying about feelings, you know. Uh, you, you have to be careful who you open up to. Um, it, don't let people hurt you. No. One of the things that you need to have is a tool uh, in your toolbox, and if you don't have it, you need to get it. That's saying the word no. Yeah. You need to have that in your toolbox. Uh, don't use it all the time. Right. Only use it when you need it. <laughs> um, you, you know, it, it may be extra work at work. Uh, you might have to say no. I, I, I can't, but you better make sure right. that you can substantiate that. Yep. Uh, right along with that, you should not give your love or care to someone who doesn't deserve it. By doing so, you will risk not only uh, having any love left for yourself, choose people in life who are there for you and choose you also. And choose to be with you. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, don't keep giving to people in your life who don't give back. If you devote all of your time to toxic people, they will keep taking and taking from you. These people are often bring out the worst in you. Boy, isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. uh, and they will make a bitter person who is afraid to get closer to others. Pay attention to the people in your life who are truly worthy of your love and affection, especially affection. Take time for these people as much as you can. You should spend your energy on them, not on users. Remember, the love and kindness they bring to the table. Everyone deals with their shares of ups and downs. You'll always need friends to help you overcome difficult times. Uh, and your, those friends are there for your support and motivation, unlike users who take what they want and leave you behind. Cherish these people, and for God's sakes, don't let them go. Remember what they did for you, too. Write down their actions and words if you feel compelled to do so. They are people who deserve your love and your attention. They are worthy of your time and affection because they were there for you when you needed them. So never let these people leave your life. And finally, take a careful look at the people who never show up when you need, uh, when you have needed them. Mm -hmm. Take a cold hard look at those people, who they really are, and if they're only around when it's convenient for them, you don't need them so much in your life. And, and you know what? You see the handwriting on the wall. You really do. Don't ignore yeah. it. And, and don't feel bad for cutting them out of your life uh, and focusing on people who actually deserve to be your friends. You know what, Ronnie? I'll tell you something. Years ago, I don't think I've shared this story with you, but 
uh, years ago, there was a guy that I worked with at um, one of the auto parts stores. And I think uh, I was like the manager and he was the assistant manager and we were friends before we even had those shifts. And he was a guy who liked to come over to my house and party. Uh huh. He loved to party, man. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he'd bring champagne and anything that rhymed with it. <laughs> and, um, you know, for a while that was like, wow, that's pretty cool. But see, here's what happened. I got married, and about four years later, my wife got pregnant by me. Uh, um, DNA test? Yeah, I'm, sure? I'm okay. certain of it. Okay. And the kid's right. a spinning image, too, so <laughs> no question. Uh, but my point is, we were growing and going in different directions. But here's the important thing. I had to curtail the friendship. Just couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't be tempted to do those partying things. It, my life was changing and then I was a married man. Yep. I was going to be a dad. So I had to put a stop to that friendship. And many years passed. And I, you know what? He changed. Oh. He went into the service, did two or four years, don't recall. A few years later, he got married, had children. And you know what? Lives change. Don't completely dismiss a person, but always give them a second chance. Right. Um, you may not be going in the same direction at the same time. I got to tell you, very similar story. When I was working at the auto dealership, uh, I had a friend there who was a car salesman and single. And I was very recently married. And he was, he had a lot of friends and being a car salesman, they're very outgoing and they make friends very easily. Um, he was pretty close friends with Tony Lopez. Oh, Tony the Tiger. You may boxer. know him. Boxer from the Sacramento area. Champion. And we kind of hung out. He called me every time because Tony was a uh, Sacramento celebrity. Probably one of the most famous, I mean, from the Sacramento area. Next to you, obviously, but uh, <laughs> that's a given. <laughs> so, Randy would call me and say, Hey, Tony and me and you are going to go to Brother Oliver's night and we're judging a bikini contest. I'm like, well, all right. So, <laughs> you do that. But it gets to be that that's all we're doing is just, I mean, I'm not a celebrity and my partner, my friend randy was not a celebrity it's really tony was this celebrity you were like hype man and so while we're there big crowds around tony and and people going who are you yeah do you do something <laughs> Nah, i'm just just one of tony's friends of a friend entourage yeah, yeah i'm tony's entourage this is literally what it was yeah so and you realize you know what this is not what I got married for. No. And it's probably, I need to yeah. need to cut that out. Yeah. So. Well, the, the most important thing to take away from the show today is, number one, live your life in the moment. Number two, avoid drama whenever possible. Number three, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> number four, if you get to a point where you either have nothing in common with the person or you're growing in different directions, it's probably time to end that friendship, but not close the door completely. You know what? You can, you can definitely slow, slow things down with a friend mm -hmm. to the point where, hey, we contact each other every once in a while. Right. Thanksgiving and Christmas. Maybe sure. Or something. If, you know? even, even at that. That's, yeah, you just know. send them a text. Sure. Uh, it, that's a great way to open a door too, you yeah. know, to find out where their where their heads at. All right, so there you go. We'll call this show today. We're gonna call this the ones who notice the storms in your eyes. My puppet puppet Ron has beady eyes. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. <laughs> and uh, puppet Lou has. <laughs> 
blonde hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and a brown beard. It could be more opposite. All right, enough of that. Uh, thanks for watching today. We hope that uh, we've shared some information with you that, you know, makes you think just a little bit. That's what we try to do. Yep. We try to make you think, trying to, you know, show you stuff uh, and, and just chat with you about life in general. That's what we do here on Men Are So Smart. Uh, you can find our show every Tuesday, Thursday at 6 a.m. Pacific, 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And our live shows are generally on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific Time, which would be 11 a.m. on the East Coast. Yep. Plan accordingly. Uh, our show is now heard in podcast form on all the various podcasting platforms. We're on iTunes. We are on iHeartRadio. And we're on Spotify plus all the rest of them. Yep. Wherever you get your podcasts, that's where we are. So be sure and check that out. Our website is menaresosmart.com. And you may have to find it under Gallagher Entertainment. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. That's yes. right. Uh, Not always Men Are So Smart. Uh, iHeartRadio, it's under Gallagher Entertainment. Yeah, it, 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 we're trying to fix that, but it's very hard to do because... It's, it's kind of how it reads it off of YouTube. Exactly. So Gallagher Entertainment or Men Are So Smart. There you go. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we will see you on the very next Men Are So Smart.